podcast show for business owners and managers who are passionate about developing people and growing a successful business. And now here's your host, Alistair Booth from the HR Booth. Hello and thanks for tuning in to this latest episode. In this episode, I'm going to be discussing Employee Appreciation Day. And the reason for that is, well, today is Employee Appreciation Day. And I wanted to just to kind of discuss some of the steps that employers could be taking to basically show that you do appreciate the people within within your business. And that's what we're going to be discussing in this episode. Another thing I'm going to try and get across in the episode as well is basically just the try and kind of showcase as well that it shouldn't just be an annual thing. So it isn't something that you should just do kind of once a year on this particular day. Um, and there's there's certain things that you could be doing during the course of the of the year to basically show that you do appreciate the people within within your business. And it does sound, you know, maybe a little bit kind of cliche, but without people in your business, you don't really kind of have a business. So we're going to be discussing that in uh, today's episode. So today, as I say, is Employee Appreciation Day. Um, and there's certain things that businesses and, and managers could be doing, I suppose, to kind of basically show uh, to your teams and to the people that work for you, um, you know, how, how you kind of appreciate them. So there's there's lots of different things that you could be doing um, today uh, and I suppose any any other day. Um, but I suppose th- things that I wanted to kind of capture today um, <clears throat> and things that we've seen work well, either in our own business or with some of the clients that we work with, or other businesses that we've kind of supported and, and, and perhaps worked in as, as well, uh, is just to kind of share some of that with you in, in this latest um, episode. <clears throat> so first of all, um, one of the things that you could you could look to kind of do is um, something that doesn't cost a lot, but can certainly kind of mean a lot, uh, and it's personalised kind of thank you notes. So kind of handwritten notes um, expressing specific reasons um, why you appreciate someone can genuinely kind of make that employee feel feel valued. So, you know, kind of personalising your um, your kind of thank you notes around that or handwritten notes around, around that as well can go a long way. So if someone has done a particular project or has done something um, in terms of han- enhancing the culture in your business or kind of gone that extra mile for a, for a customer, then you, you could kind of look to kind of express that in the, the, the kind of handwritten note. Um, and what you don't want to do is be kind of giving someone or everyone the kind of same, same message. So kind of personalise that a little bit and that will kind of make people feel genuinely kind of, kind of valued. Um, other things that you could consider, so things like uh, perhaps like a recognition event, so that might be a, a kind of special event or town hall or um, team meeting as such where employees are publicly acknowledged for their hard work and, and their achievements, so that's something that you could look to, to kind of do on, on this particular day. Um, other things, um, so... One one of the things that employees kind of look for from a, an employer and from a from a business is p- a personal development opportunities. So you could look to kind of offer um, a kind of workshop or a seminar or something that's going to um, kind of support that employee's kind of growth within within the business. So that might be something you look to kind of do on that that particular kind of day as well. Uh, things that are quite common um, is things like kind of wellness activities. So you might want to organise like a, a wellness activity to take place in the business. So uh, that could be something like so yoga or meditation or, or something else like that that, that could emphasise the importance of kind of mental and physical health in, in the workplace. And uh, so that's certainly something that could be um, you know certainly appreciated by 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 your teams as well. Um, perhaps like um, surprise treats. So that might be a kind of catered lunch. Um, it might be a, a kind of surprise gift or treat or something like that that you know just recognises that the fact that you're saying thank you and appreciating them for for something that they've, they've done. Um, perhaps look at kind of flexible hours. So maybe allow people to come in a little bit later on on employee appreciation day or leave a little bit early. That kind of shows your kind of trust and appreciation for for them um, in terms of you know you use use a kind of manager. Um, other things to think about, so that there might be obviously some um, kind of tax implications around this, but you could be looking at kind of small gifts or tokens, uh, gift cards, um, diff- different things like that, just as a kind of way to, to kind of say thank you. Uh, and then the final one that you could look at is like a kind of team building activity, so maybe something that's to something that's fun, um, something that's inclusive, um, and something that maybe fosters a little bit of kind of team spirit and a, you know a little bit of kind of banter in the, in the kind of workplace. So th- th- these are some of the things that you could be kind of considering for this kind of particular day. Uh, but as I said at the intro, 
what what you kind of look what you kind of need to be looking at is what you kind of do throughout the the, the kind of whole year. Um, and one of the things you know, or some of the things that we we kind of try to do in our, our own business is you know as you know we we have kind of regular kind of feedback sessions. So team members have um, at least a kind of monthly kind of check in with their with their manager. We have uh, goals and objectives kind of aligned to that, and then there's kind of quarterly objectives that we we kind of set as well. Um, but what we have kind of built in is um, a system for kind of regular ongoing constructive kind of feedback uh, and also <clears throat> that makes sure that kind of the, the, the people on our teams are kind of seen and heard as well. Uh, so that's certainly something you could kind of think about and that's certainly something that's worked well in, in our own business and we see that working really well with some, some clients. Um, other one to kind of think about um, and this is something that we do on, on a weekly basis so once a week I'll, I'll kind of chair a, a kind of weekly update and um, basically kind of looking at successes from the, the week just gone, looking at any um, challenges that we might have encountered in the business, planning ahead for the for the week ahead. And, and you know, that might be in terms of kind of client delivery, operational kind of projects and various things like that. But one of the things that we do in our own business in terms of recognising and appreciating people is that we will do a kind of shout out each week. Um, and, and, and that's linked to a kind of company values. So if we feel someone has done something that has lived up to these values, then I'll kind of recognise that on a weekly basis. But more importantly, the team members actually kind of shout out kind of colleagues who they feel have kind of lived up to the, the kind of company values. So that is kind of self-policed, if you like, and there's a bit of kind of peer-to-peer -peer recognition. And I think that kind of goes goes a long way. And that's something that we do on, a, as I say, a weekly basis. It's kind of called out in our, in our weekly update. Uh, but that, that kind of feedback happens kind of throughout. So have a look at, you know, how you can appreciate and recognise the contribution of, of, of your people. So that might be through your, your monthly town halls, monthly updates, monthly the briefings, whatever you might have in your, your kind of business, but have a have a look at whether that's something that you can you can you can do and, and kind of shout that out. Um, again, for a lot a lot of our kind of larger clients, we we see things like kind of colleague of the month or employee of the month, um, and that's a program that recognises the contribution of someone in the business who has kind of made an outstanding contribution during that um, during that month. And again, that is usually nominated by by colleagues and peers in the business, and then your kind of senior management team kind of might sign off on that, and and there might be some kind of criteria around that, so that might be linked to your kind of core values and things like that as well. So that that's a program that works works really well. Um, touched on um, around kind of professional development, so that is something that you you should be doing all year round. So looking at kind of growth plans, making sure people have got a progression path. Um, their support in place to help them with their development goals. So making sure that's something that's in place and that you're giving people that kind of support and recognition during the during the course of the year. Um, next one is, is around flexible working. So looking at flexible working arrangements. So that could be remote working. It could be flexible hours. You could be looking at kind of compressed hours. Um, you could be looking at a little bit of kind of <clears throat> hybrid working in amongst that as well. Um, and just looking to kind of accommodate the, the different needs of the different people that are, are, that are in your business. So that might be, you know, flexibility to, to support for childcare, or it might be to support um, elderly relatives, or it, it, it could be something outside of that in terms of they've just got kind of sports and hobbies or something else that your, your kind of team members do. So have a look at that and, that, and, you know, you can kind of build in something a little bit extra as well. If someone has kind of gone that extra mile, maybe a little bit of kind of recognition around that is that you build in a little bit extra flexibility and, and kind of recognition of that if you if you can. Um, I touched on as well like wellness programs. So again, that isn't something that you should kind of do just as a as a kind of one off. So look at um, different wellness programs that you could potentially run during the course of the year. So that could be something to kind of promote healthy living. It might be something on um, stress reduction, mental health, um, employee assistance programs, and, and various things like that as well. So kind of have a look at is that something you can kind of offer during the, the, the course of the year. Um, one of the things that we, we're trying to do this year with our kind of monthly updates that we do, which, um, you know, kind of is basically kind of just looking back on the previous month, what's worked well, what we need to improve on and what the month ahead kind of looks like and celebrating some key successes in amongst that. One of the things that we're doing this year is, is having different kind of guest speakers coming into that as, as well. Um, and that kind of helps with a little bit of kind of appreciation. 
uh, but it also allows the, the team members to kind of gain skills, knowledge and experience in different kind of subjects. So that's very much driven by our um, team members around the types of kind of guest speakers that they'd like to see coming in. So, so far this year we've had an employment lawyer and um, so our friends from Blackadders, Blair, came in to do an employment law update. So that helped with people's professional development. We have got an occupational health nurse coming in to kind of discuss mental health and mental health in the workplace. Uh, and that that will kind of really help. And then we've got things like kind of charities and different things like that coming in during the, the course of the year. So we've got a range of different kind of guest speakers that are going to be coming in this, this year to, to support with some of that. So again, is that something that you could look to implement in your, your own organisation? Um, another one is really just kind of celebrating kind of milestones. So that might be um, people who have achieved a work anniversary. Um, it might be a promotion within the business. They've maybe um, achieved something personally. So that might be, you know, having a baby, getting married, getting divorced, whatever, whatever that might be, um, are, um, achieving a, a qualification or a training certificate. So either, either, either professionally or personally and just kind of recognising that. So celebrating these kind of milestones is, is good. Um, another kind of appreciation um, initiatives is your kind of corporate social responsibility. So that might be things like... Um, you know, you might want to get involved in volunteer projects, and that's something that we did that we do as a team. Uh, and we did a <clears throat> a, a team session in, in December, and that was supporting a, a, a local charity that was providing uh, gifts and toys for um, children at Christmas who, under normal circumstances, just wouldn't have received anything. So we pulled together as a team to to do that, and we've got some other um, <clears throat> projects like that on the go this year that we're we're looking to to support. So again, have have a look at as there, there things like that that you can do. Um, and your own business that can can kind of drive that forward and, and make your people feel feel appreciated. Um, and the final one is just making sure you've got open lines of communication, so transparent communication in, in your business, making sure that your people are informed in what's going on, they feel engaged and they feel part of the, the bigger picture and you're recognising the contribution that, that people kind of make. Um, so say th th these are just some of the things that you could be, you could be looking to do. So there's, there's certain, certain things that you could be doing today, uh, just in terms of it being a kind of national day, uh, if you like. But more importantly, is what are you going to do for the next kind of 365 days of the year? Um, to try and implement some of these practices where your employees will feel valued, they'll feel heard, and it's not just on a on a, a kind of day such as, as today. So that ongoing kind of recognition uh, will, will enhance kind of job satisfaction. It should enhance morale in the workplace, enhance kind of loyalty in, in the business and really kind of drive your business forward. And, you know, going back to a kind of cliche, but, you know, if, if, if you look after the, the people in your team, they're going to look after your customers. And I think it was Richard Branson has, has kind of made that, that quote famous a, a number of years ago. And it is very, it is very true. Um, so, you know, t t take stock of what you can be doing, you know, today, if you've maybe left it too late to do anything today, then maybe what you need to be doing is thinking, what can you do over the next 12 months to make sure that the people in your business do do feel appreciated? And, you know, we, we're a small business ourselves, uh, and, you know, I, I'm, I'm quite passionate about making sure that people do feel supported in the business and they feel appreciated. So there's, there's lots of kind of small things that we, we do around that. Um, we, we implemented last year, we, we, we gave people an extra day's annual holiday for their birthday, so it meant that people are getting that, that kind of day off. Um, and then this year we've introduced an extra kind of day where if people wanted to kind of take um, one Wednesday off during the year to do a, what we've called a kind of wellbeing Wednesday, to do something that they're kind of passionate about. So whether it's going to the gym, going hill walking, going walking, or just doing something that you kind of enjoy doing, then that is an extra day that people can kind of take this this year as well. And again, we've we've kind of put surveys out, we've kind of asked for feedback and what we try to do as a business is act on on that feedback and implement initiatives and strategies that, that people have kind of come come forward with and the key thing is just to try and appreciate the the input and the value that the people in your business kind of bring to bring, basically bring to your organization so hopefully that's helped hopefully it's given you some food for thought and in terms of how you can value the contribution of your of your people if you've got any questions relating to this podcast or anything kind of HR and people related, you can contact me uh, via the normal um, kind of forums, which is through the website, which is www.thehrbooth.co.uk, or you can contact me via email at info at thehrbooth.co.uk. So thanks for tuning in, and we will be back again very soon with our future episode. So thanks again.